Hello, dear class six students. This is your science teacher, Ben, and I'll be taking your science, and we'll be starting our first chapter. The name of the chapter itself is very interesting. It's a food. Where does it come from? So it's a very mouth-watery topic. Great, food. Clear? I'm very excited to start this because right now I can, I feel like I can see many future scientists or maybe a Nobel Prize winner in science, in physics, in chemistry, in future, okay? Okay, so let's start. So the name of the chapter is food, where does it come from? Clear, where does it come from? So to start this chapter, first we'll start with food variety, okay? And here we have to do some activity as well for to know the food variety. And food is very essential for all of us. Without food, we won't have energy because from food, we get nutrients, right? We get energy to do our daily life, to carry the life processes, right, students? Okay, so let's talk about food variety. Food variety means here, it's talking about the diversity of food, okay? So uh, in your textbook it's, uh, itself, on the first page of the first chapter, you'll see an activity. Clear? So you have to do some activity. I have done my activity as well, right? So to start this activity, uh, let me just give you an example. Clear? If you have been given for a month the same food day and night, you'll be like, you'll be angry. You may, have, you may say, what have I done that I'm getting this kind of punishment, right? Or let's say, um, just call up five of your friends, best friends in school. Call any five of your friends, write their names, and just take a note, okay, of what they had last night in the dinner for dinner. Clear? Uh, I don't think you'll get all like similar curry. You'll see variety. Maybe some of your chicken, some maybe like vegetables, or so you'll find all different variety. So that is the variety. Clear? I have done my activity as well. Right now. I have some friends here from the, uh, the Tech One production team. These are super amazing people here, and there are like four of them, and I have asked them what they had like for dinner, like last night. And, we, and I, okay, I just, I just got the answer. We all had like all different like curry. So that, that is the variety, that is the diversity, clear? In India, if you, in India also we have diversity, variety of food items, clear? So this, uh, the first topic, food variety, is about diversity. And here, the key word that you have to remember is ingredients, clear? Ingredients. So what is ingredients? Ingredients are the materials required like to prepare a dish or for a food, to, for preparation of Food, okay? So there can be um, many ingredients or a few ingredients, clear? Ingredients are the materials that is required to prepare a food or a dish. And ingredients can be of two types that can, okay, many ingredients or, or few ingredients. So let's start with few, few ingredients. Let's take a few ingredients, let's say boiled rice. How do you prepare a boiled rice? What ingredients do we need to make a boiled rice? We need just rice, water. So just two ingredients. So those are the example of ingredients, okay? So how many ingredients did we use? Just two, water, rice, done, right? Say so let's take an example of some spicy curry, like any chicken curry or any um, mixed vegetables curry. So you'll, you'll need oil, salt, you'll need like spices. Uh, you need lots of very ingredients, right? So that can be, uh, that will be, that will come under uh, many ingredients, okay? So I'm sure now you are clear with the first part that is food variety, clear? Now we'll go to our second topic that is food materials and source, clear? The food that we eat every day, where does it come from? Dominoes, KFC, you may be thinking, right? Some of you are thinking Dominoes, KFC, but sorry, that's not the answer, clear? The ultimate source would be either for plant, from plants or from animals, right? So keep that in your mind. It will be either from plants or from animals. Let's take from plants. The fruits that to take, apple, mango, grapes, etc. clear? Or vegetables or uh, boil vegetables, anything, all are what? 
all are all are a product of the source, the original, the or the origin is plant, right? And let's from animal source, the milk, egg, honey, everything is coming under the animal source. And this all the vegetables, animals, they they are composed of the nutrients, the essential nutrients required for uh, by our body to function. Clear? Okay, so uh, Food materials and source, that's very simple. Even here, uh, I'll, okay, you can do one activity that you can write your favorite food item, any food item, and you can list the ingredients and then you can write the source. Clear? Let's say, for example, tea, okay? Tea, and then the ingredients would be, say, sugar, say, uh, water, let's say tea leaves, so sugar, the origin will be from plant. Let's say tea leaves, the origin will be from plant. So that's the simple example I'm giving. So you can give, you all have your favorite food items, right? It can be a cake or it can be snacks or it can be any curry, so you can try that. Okay, students, uh, you can try this activity. It will be a lot, it will be fun, clear? Okay, so now this is done. Now let's go to our third part, that is plant part and animal product as food. Clear? Plant part and animal, pro animal product as food. So now, okay, uh, which part of plant do you take uh, for food? Clear? So in this, the third topic here, the key word I want you to note down is edible, okay? Let me spell that for you, E-D-I-B-L-E, -E, okay? That's not eatable, okay, that's different, edible. So that means which can be eaten, okay? So there are many plants around us, right? But not all the plants are edible. Some may be a poisonous plant, right? So now I, let's discuss about the plant part, which like we eat, clear? So even in your textbook, uh, the second question, uh, they have given you a question uh, that is, Name any five plants and their parts which you eat, okay? So we'll discuss this uh, plant part in details. So now let's talk about, uh, let's talk about rice. Rice, like which part of rice do we eat? The plant. So the seeds, the seed is what we eat, okay? We take, okay, now let's talk about radish or a carrot. I'm sure you're familiar with carrot. That's a good source of vitamin A. Clear. So carrot and radish. Carrot and radish, which part, okay, uh, carrot and radish, which part do we uh, consume? So that's the root, okay, the root, root, the root. And now the third one, most of you get confused, okay. Now it, it is the fruit, the fruit, the fruit part of the plant. Uh, that would be, I'll give you an example. Apple, mangoes are all fruits, right? But let's say tomato, let's say uh, brinjal, those are all fruit part, okay? They are the fruit of the plant, clear? So you don't get confused there. Brinjal, yes, it's a vegetable, but brinjal is the fruit part of the plant, clear? Yeah, tomato is a vegetable, but that's the fruit part of the plant. So don't get confused there. So uh, under fruits, you can write uh, any fruits that you like, or you can, uh, fruit, apple, mango, brinjal, tomato, those are all the fruit part, clear? Okay, now let's talk about a uh, modified stem. Okay. I, okay, I said stem, but I said modified stem. So stem, you all know, right? If I say modified stem, what part of, okay, give me some examples. Okay, so that, that would be onion, okay? Onion and potato, potato, clear? Uh, onion and potato are very common, clear? If you have not seen onion and potato, then you may be lying, clear? Okay, so onion and pot potato, they are the modified stem of the uh, plant part. Okay, the origin from where we get onion and potato is from the plant, right? But which part of the plant is onion? Which part of the plant is potato? They are the modified stem. So keep this in mind, modified stem, clear? Okay, so uh, 
any five, from there any five you can mention. Okay, now we also have a flower part. Cauliflower, you can give that cauliflower. So we take the flower part. For flower part is what we take, clear, of the plant. Or we can say broccoli, that also the flower part is what we take, clear. Okay, now there are some plants where we'll get more than two types of edible parts, clear. Let's say a mustard plant, clear. The seeds is used for making oil, right? The seeds of the, the mustard seed is used to make oil. And the plant part is used as boiled vegetables, clear. So those things keep in mind, very practical. And the question number two from the exercise, name any plant, five plant and their parts, which you can try, clear. So I've given many examples from carrot, radish, uh, from till ca cauliflower, clear. So you can give any five example and the part which is, which is consumed, clear. So you can do that at home. Okay, so students, uh, we are okay discussing about the plant part and animal products as a food. Okay, so now the important one, the honey. Honey is honey gives us lots of health benefits, like uh, thing. There. So how honey is produced? We all know that uh, it, we get it from bee, right? So how how does bee prepare this honey? So bee they collect they collect the nectar. Okay, they collect this nectar. Bee collect nectar. B, they collect this nectar. What is this nectar? It's a sweet juice, okay, sweet juice. So B collect this nectar from flowers, okay? B collect this nectar from flowers and then uh, they will convert this sweet juice into honey. So they convert this nectar into honey. And this nectar is a sweet juice. So they convert this one to honey and store it in a beehive. That's how like in very short, let's keeping it very simple. That's how honey is prepared, clear. Now, uh, the second one here I want to discuss is a uh, sprouted seeds, sprouted seeds. So sprouted seeds. So what is the meaning of sprouted? I'll explain. What, I'll give you an example of sprouted seeds. So have you seen, you, I'm sure you're familiar with, with uh, gram, moon, or chana. Okay, chana, locally chana. So chana, if uh, you just fill this chana in, uh, with water, okay? You just fill the water and then just keep it for a day. Or, or you can just, after, after uh, filling it with water, you can just uh, cover it with a wet cloth. You can also do that. But uh, the simple one, what you can do is just you can fill it with water and you can drain it. And then uh, the next day, the following day, you will observe a white color thing coming out, right? So if this is, okay, a bean, you'll see something like white color coming like this. So that is known as sprouted. And all this together will be known as sprouted seeds. Clear? So get familiar with this sprouted, the very word sprouted. So this is the white color thing which, is, which comes out like from the seeds. Clear? Now, uh, if you keep it like for, after, uh, for a long time, what you'll observe? That you'll observe a plant. You'll observe a plant from here. So maybe this would be the root and this would be the shoot part. Clear? So this is uh, sprouted seeds. Keep this in mind. Now, the next one, what do animals eat? Clear? What do animals eat? So now, uh, this is very important. We are going to talk about a herbivore, a carnivore, and an omnivore. Clear? So there are some uh, organisms, they are living organisms. They eat only plants. They eat only plants, okay? Uh, so they are called as herbivores. Herb, H-E-R-B. Herb means that's like from plant, okay? So they eat only plants. And those type of animals are known as herbivore. Clear? So keep this in mind. Example, uh, cow, they eat grass, right? Rabbit, right? So you have many examples that you can give. Now, let's ne next talk, uh, talk about the animals or living organisms uh, which eat only animals. 
any example, it can be tiger, right? So they are what? We call them as carnivores, clear? Carnivores. Those are the living organisms which eat only animals, clear? Which eat only animals, only animals. So they are known as carnivores. So now, what about a human being? What about you and I what, fall in which category? Because we eat like plants, right? But we also like meat, we also like chicken. So those are all uh, animals. So it means we eat both plants and we eat both, uh, we eat uh, animals as well. So are we herbivore, carnivore together? We have a word for that, okay? So the living organisms which eat both plants and animals are known as omnivores. Clear? So you have to keep this in mind. Herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. You should be clear with these three very words. Clear? So that comes to the end of the chapter. We have discussed all the important uh, points uh, from the food variety, from the diversity of the food that we have. And I have given you uh, activity in the beginning from the first point. So please do that activity, okay? I myself, I have done with friends over here. Clear? Now the second one is food materials and their source, right? All what we consume, what we have for dinner or lunch, they have their source. And from even from the point two, I've given an activity. So you can try that. And the third one, we have discussed about the plant part and an animal product as food, where we have discussed two important things, that is the sprouted seeds and how honey, how bees, how, how honey is like prepared, clear, produced. Now the last part is the, what, what do animals eat, clear? So from there, we have discussed about herbivore, carnivore, and omnivore. So you have to know that, clear? So the textbook exercises are very simple. Uh, so you can try that. If you have, if you have like, if you are clear with the concept, those, uh, the text, textbook exercises, all you can do it on your own. So I, uh, I will request all of you to try those exercises at home, clear? And the next chapter will start, at, uh, it's going to be another uh, very interesting topic, clear? So this chapter, all the science chapter, everything is, uh, everything is very relatable, very practical in our daily life. Uh, so together, uh, we will learn all the chapter together and um, I'll give you every day, like after the session, I'll give you an activity, I'll request you to do that at, ho at home because uh, science we learn by doing, okay, and seeing. So uh, we are done with the chapter, we'll wind up from here today, and we'll continue with the chapter number two in the next class. Thank you students, to be continued.